sound of the power around kicking in behind me. It heats my blood when the trumpet flies above me. I'm a happy man in the world. I Sometimes vultures hover over wounded angels' lives. A black dog comes to see me, and darkness fills my world. So I close my eyes and listen. What you're making freedom song I move my body to the rhythm and I'm a happy man in the world I'm a happy man in the world It's the holy ground Um, he plays a lot of songs in either open D or open C, and this is an open C tuning. Actually, it's a modified open C. So, a lot of people play dad gad, D A D G A D. This is one full step lower than that, so it's C G C F. play it, it's kind of a modified C chord. So to play this, put your third finger on the seventh fret on the lowest string. Take your fourth finger, put it on the same fret, seventh fret, except this time on the fourth string. And you take your pinky and you 
or excuse me, your first finger, and you stretch it all the way out here to the fourth fret. And then you just slide that down two frets, everything. So it goes. Okay, so. Then you come back up here, up the neck. Okay, so your first finger goes on the seventh fret, second string. Fourth finger on the ninth fret, and that's on the third string. And then you put your third finger on the ninth fret, fifth string. And those are the three chords. From and one of the things that's easy to do on this chord because the guitar is tuned down it's very easy to pull notes out of tune so especially this finger here so listen so I'm not really used to playing in these open tunings and I've been doing this a lot so if so if, if you if you're not playing that note straight on if you're bending it at all up or down it's gonna pull it out of tune which is worse because you have this these these two notes are actually the same. So if you pull one out, it sounds horrible. So, so you gotta keep it right down. There's the chorus, which is up the neck. So it's focused around the twelfth fret. Okay. And so what you do is you put put your third finger on the first string, twelfth fret. Put your middle finger also on the twelfth fret, but this time on the fourth string. Then you put your first finger on the eleventh fret, third string. Okay, and then you're gonna move it down. Except you're going to keep kind of the same thing, except you're going to split it a little bit. Okay, so your fingers stay on the same strings. You move two of your fingers down here to the 11th fret, but your first finger moves all the way over, moves over two frets, so. And then, so the first chord of the chorus, and then the second chord of the chorus, and then the third chord is a little different. You keep your first finger on that same string and you move it up here to the 12th. But then your fingers move up a little bit. You take these two fingers and instead of being, they have been on the sixth string and the fourth string, when you slide them up, so they're now gonna go up to the fifth string and the second string. Okay, so they're still the same far apart, but they've moved, they've both moved higher one string. And then you add the pinky up here on your 16th string, so it goes. And then you go back and you do it again. And then the second time you do it, you then move then drop these two fingers, so they've been on the second string and the fifth string, you're now going to move them down to the first and the fourth, and then back add the pinky again. 